Consider the following. Let's say you have an action figure and you want to take it apart. You could remove its arms and legs, but you can still pose those body parts by themselves. You can still flex the arm, pose the hand, extend the leg. It's still an entire arm and leg. Then you continue to take it apart, removing the forearm from the upper arm, the thigh from the calf. Now, when it's in pieces like this, you can't pose any of it. So that means each body part controls what's attached to it. When you put the arm back together, the upper arm controls the forearm and the forearm controls the hand. This creates a hierarchy. One part controls another part. You can think of it sort of like a chain, where moving one part of the chain moves the next one down the chain. If you put the arm back in place, it'll be controlled by the body. If you snap the legs back in, then the hips will control the legs. And just like the video I did on legs, everything starts at the hips. So the hips control everything, then the body, then the arms and head. The same is true for skeletons, both real and virtual. A skeleton is made up of a hierarchy of bones or joints. 